<laughs> hey, I'm Brad. I'm Greg. I'm Phil. Um, today, <laughs> it is the uh, end of October, and we thought nothing Ish. better than to uh, carve a pumpkin and Ooh. compare two pumpkin ales. So here we have Blue Point Pumpkin Ale, and here we have Fire Island uh, uh, Supreme Pumpkin Ale, on that, and then Pumpkin, pumpkin Barrel, Barrel Ale. ale. Um, All right, so uh, Blue Point first. Blue Point is a brewery that uh, Graham and I visited. Enjoyed our time there. Somebody, somebody dropped pumpkin in my beer. <laughs> I like that. Wow, that's really good. That's really good. Uh, that's actually better than I was expecting. Kind of a weird little sweet taste at the very end. Yeah, and that was strange. It's kind of, it's like a, it's a whipped cream. I think it might be actually <laughs> that. <laughs> it's almost like a sugary sweetness at the end. It's good though. Um, pumpkin ale though for me is definitely like a, hey, seasonal thing. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of like Christmas ale. Yeah, I, I think the, the, the problem that I've had before with, with a lot of, with Post Road, Post Road was one of the ones, uh, definitely, is that it's either usually way too vegetable-y, like pumpkin-y, like, like if you, you know, took this off and just took a bite out of the pumpkin for no apparent reason, that's what Post Road tastes like to me. Yeah. Um, or it goes way too far into the spice part, uh, and, it, and you get way too much of a, hey, we want to be a spicy, you know, Halloween, whatever thing, and it's just like, uh, you know, it's like, I, but there's no, I can't taste any beer. Yeah. You know, and this is just like cinnamon and, you know, whatever else, you know, nutmeg, nutmeg and cinnamon and sugar is all I taste. Yeah. And it's like, I, I could do, ugh, you know. So, but this is kind of, this is neither of those. It's pleasant. There is a beer taste in there. You know, there's an ale taste that I get out of it. And it's lightly spiced towards tasting like a pumpkin pie or, or something along those lines, but not too far. Mm -hmm. You know, is it very good? Yeah, I did say that I've, I've had a couple recently that are, are very... I wouldn't say mellow because the flavor's still here, but I guess mellow when compared to those I would say those two extremes mellow. that you just mentioned. Yeah. Um, and this one actually is pretty mellow too. It's like a little, it's a little sweet, a little pumpkin pie, mm. but not a bad one. No, I think yeah. it's good. Yeah. But let's try this. Let's one. go ahead and try the fire iron. Clinky clink. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Much more bland for me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, in fact, I'm wondering where the pumpkin is. <laughs> Actually, it tastes more like a copper brown or yeah. something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, it is that we're getting to it a little bit warmer than the Yeah, but it's still, but, we should still But it's taste. got, it's got more of a, it's, it's, well, there's, it's more ale, that's for sure. Um, the blue point, though, even though it's just as warmed out, you still get a lot of pumpkin. Yeah. Yeah, this is interesting. interesting. Well, I think there's a little pumpkin in there, but, um, Where's the pumpkin though? You have to show me. It's like a little, a little pumpkin it's or a, like a little piece of a big pumpkin or just a little pumpkin? Ah, pumpkin Barrel Ale marks their first fall seasonal beer made with hops from the local New York State Farms and tons of real pumpkin. What makes these beers special is they, are, is they, they crafted them to be like the island they loved, easy going, plenty of character. Now they're holding the fruits of their labor. You're holding the fruits that they only ask you to remember this. Beer people both are better when they're chill and enjoy. I think there's a lot um, that we have to compare. Yeah. I think that we have to compare the drinkability of a beer. I mm -hmm. think we have to uh, compare the drinkability of a pumpkin right. ale. I think we also have to talk about which do we want. Um, but, but, and then as a seasonal offering. From a season, I think they seasonal. are three separate things. Yeah. yeah. So, as a beer, let's go, go general first. Uh, I'm, I actually, I'm. it doesn't have to be separate for me. I think that the blue point actually wins on all accounts. I think that there's mm -hmm. enough of a flavor in there that it reminds me that it's a pumpkin ale, that it's seasonal. I think that it's uh, drinkable enough that I would rather go for this than um, the Fire Island. And uh, I think, hands down, um, that this uh, has more of a pumpkin flavor than the fire island. I, I, I'm actually really enjoying this. Mm -hmm. um, it's a lighter pumpkin flavor, and I've had some heavier pumpkin-y beers, but I like this. Um, you know, it's, it's again, a novelty, and it's a once-a-year thing that I don't really shed a tear when pumpkin beers are out of season, but mm -hmm. it's nice when they come around, and you're like, oh, you know, I'll grab a six-pack, or I'll have one at the bar, and then go back to whatever uh, else I was doing. So I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually give this, in terms of the rating scale, I'm going to add it all together, and I'm going to say 22.5. I don't wow. even know what that means. like it. I'm, I'm going to agree a lot with Brad, um, with one small disagreement. <laughs> we are open. 
<laughs> um, no, I think as a beer, I think that if it was like, you know, any time of the year and I was just going for a beer, and there's times where I drink darker, you know, amber colored beer, beers during the summertime, you know, whatever, but I probably would go with the Fire Island, because I think I could drink responsibly in two or more hours a whole six pack of it. Mm. Um, because it just has a very nice copper, amber flavor to it. A little bit of a hint of fall pumpkin spice, like a, this, a really, really small hint, like a whisper from across the stadium. Um, but, yeah, see that makes sense. Picture it in your mouth. As a whole six pack purchase, rather than the Blue Point, because I think the Blue Point flavor, I would, even though I really like it, I would get sick of after six. Um, as a pumpkin beer, I mean, Blue Point hands down. Blue Point, I think, I think actually this might be better than my previous favorite, which was the Dogfish Head, mm. because this one, there's something about it that's like, it's not too sweet, but it gives you like a little sweet finish that's really almost like you're eating a pumpkin. You know, I'm just going to add both of them together and give them a 45. Did you have 30? Well, no. This one, I'm adding this score. <laughs> This week, this week I'm just gonna add both of them together. I guess 45 is kind of low, right? No, 45. Um, three rating systems. Um, 30 for each. Minus in. five on each, but you're splitting it. It's about two point. You oh, get, yeah. you gave it like a seven five. You gave each yeah. of them a seven right. five. Together they get a 45 <laughs> out of a possible 60. 60. <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, I'm, I, I think I'm like gonna I kind of slide right in between you two. I, I think. Beer as a beer, I think I like uh, the Fire Island uh, if we're talking beer taste, because I think it's got more of the actual, uh, you know, it's more of a beer, less of uh, what's in the beer. Uh, so it, it, it is a little bit more beery tasting, you can pick out, you know, like we said, it's like, to us it's more of a copper ale or whatever. So I, th I think as a beer that goes. But, uh, I'll agree on, on, on the other side, pumpkin beer, as, as, as going for a pumpkin, definitely the blue point, it's, it's more of a pleasant thing. I can definitely, if I, you know, close line, you know, blindfold taste test, that would be the one I could pick out as a pumpkin or, or a, a, you know, a, a thanks, Thanksgiving fall season or whatever. This one, I'm not sure I could do that. I don't think close my eyes, you know. Um, and for fall, like versus the Oktoberfest, where you tell like what you were talking about, I think I would take this over an Oktoberfest as well. Uh, because I agree with you, most of the time, the Oktoberfest for me get very spicy or spiced. You know, and, and go in weird directions because it'll be a darker beer, but it'll be higher spiced, and a lot of times that'll be, you know, two completely weird directions that I'm not a fan of. Uh, so, this one, I, I could definitely drink uh, a six pack of this in whatever, just proof. Uh, both of them, really, but I would choose the Blue Point over the Fire Island, I think, in that case, straight up. Uh, and I'm going to rate them. Uh, probably uh, seven five, and I'll go the pumpkin uh, barrel ale. Uh, probably a uh, six and three quarters. Is this out of sixty now? This or is out of a thousand and twenty-four. <laughs> we're in eight bit scale. Eight bit. All right. So um, enjoy your pumpkin beers while you can get them. Um, both of them are good. Everybody tries. Everybody brews beer. Gets this drunk. Next to the guy. Come on, go. Next to the guy. Go. I'm actually going to bottle the news.